now you can see it here we we can we created nine parts for ball wall 3 by 4 inch ball wall now let's see the assembly of ball wall so select here new click assembly okay actually all the windows are open just now we will first uh, we already all the parts open in background so we will just drag and drop here let's say body we will assign the plane now let's define first body open the body and select front plane of cancel select on first body and make it float now we will select front plane of assembly and body select mat okay now the top plane of assembly and the top plane of ball wall body mat go inside okay the last one right plane of body and assembly mat go inside okay now you can click and select fix now the body is fixed uh, let's browse the another part inside we want to fix one seat seat ring okay choose mat select the upper surface and this surface concentric relation okay select this wall and back coincident now that's it it's already placed in its position let's browse in next part now here we will select some three four parts so i'll choose control key ball handle packing stamp and grip escape we already have all the things here so why we will go there select ball hand lever packing gland stamp is must let's first define this stamp choose mat select this face and this face concentric relation now select this wall side wall and this wall now it is parallel okay select this cut out bottom cut out and the bottom face of ha hand lever coincident relation now this fix with this now we will do some more relation select this side wall and select this wall coincident relation see here now we will make some relation between stamp and ball so just drop down the ball menu and stamp in ball menu we will try to select right plane okay and in stamp menu we will select front plane see select mat select okay okay 
now this is one relation created we will insert one more part packing gland escape not packing gland stem packing choose mat select both the holes concentric relation select this wall and this face it is coincide here okay now we have to define this ball now select the top plane of assembly and top plane of ball see choose mat okay okay now drop down this menu and you will find here origin point okay now see this is the system origin point we already selected assembly origin point and in if you will choose ball origin point this is the ball origin point so we have to make relation we selected ball origin point and select this assembly origin point to make okay now select this this face and this face concentric relation i think it's no need because this already in concentric position now inside the face cut out Uh, just hide the ball click on ball hide you can see there is a cut out inside so select this wall mat and select this face coincident relation okay okay now appear the ball show the component and you can hide this origins okay select ball go to ball select here mat and delete the last relation origin mat delete okay now see drag it out choose mat select this inside face and select stem concentric relation okay now just try to rotate see it's rotating freely okay now drag this part here select this stem choose mat select this hole concentric okay now drag this up select this face and this face coincident okay now this also fix it in its place see browse the next part grip this is the rubber grip for handle choose a mat select this face and select inside face choose concentric okay now just go to 
एडवांस मैट चूज विथ सेलेक्ट दिस फेस द सेम हियर दिस फेस ड्रैग इट आउट दिस फेस एंड दिस फेस नाउ इट इज सेट बिकम इन सेंटर पोजिशन ओके बट स्टिल वन रिलेशन बैलेंस सेलेक्ट दिस फेस एंड दिस फेस गो टू स्टैंडर्ड मैट चूज को सेंट्री सेलेक्ट ओके ओके नाउ द रबर फिक्स रबर ग्रिप इज फिक्स विथ हैंडल नाउ इट्स टाइम टू एड सम नट हियर सो नट वी विल टेक फ्रॉम सिस्टम जस्ट सेलेक्ट डिजाइन लाइब्रेरी सेलेक्ट हियर टूल बॉक्स एंड इफ इट विल नॉट कम्स हियर इट विल आस्क यू एड इन नाउ सो क्लिक एड इन नाउ now it is okay it's come now choose here and see inch and find out here nut nut and we want to put some hexagonal nut so i'll choose hexagonal nut and uh, i'll select hexagonal jam nut so just drag this nut up to this uh, hand uh, stamp and drop now it automatically it will drop this is the size 3 by 8 into 16 inch double chamfer and uh, i prefer schematic schematic means it is with real thread select okay it is asking if if you need more uh, not you can take it otherwise cancel okay now let's browse the another next part what exactly the balance i think seat ring we need one more and uh, valve end that's it now just try to rotate this direction and seating also this direction okay select mat select this inside circular face and this face make relation concentric okay take it out select this face and this face make relation coincident okay now select this threaded portion and inside threaded portion concentric relation connect this face and this face go inside now the ball valve assembly is ready now it's time to test whether it's really working or not uh, here see the handle is rotating 360 degree we want to add some relation here go to mat advance mat and choose here angle okay now select these two faces maximum 180 degree 90 degree here you can choose 90 degree here better to keep 180 degree see the maximum limit 180 degree and minimum 90 degree select okay okay now let's play it is opening reverse direction so go to mat edit or we will do one thing select flip dimension okay now let's try okay see now you can see it here easily see 
it's going to touch with this body and this stopper so these are the two stoppers for ball valve uh, let's do one thing hide the body see now it is open if you will drag it it will close the passage if you open the passage is open and water can flow show the component let's hide this change transparency now see the ball wall working inside open and close change transparency of body and the last part ball band first we we will do one thing first save this body right assembly right here 3 by 4 inch ball valve assembly i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works and don't forget to share and like our video Thanks for watching.